Good morning, guys. Uh, just heading to Guest Four Drive in Fairfield, Melbourne, where I'm going to get a pre-trip inspection done and a full service on the Troopy. Um, Guest is where I get most of my Troopy stuff done. They've done all the electrical on my Troopy, and uh, they're a great bunch of guys. So hopefully, uh, they'll have a bit of a they'll have a bit of time to have a bit of a chat with us, and I can introduce you to their team. Okay, we're pretty much there. Hey guys, welcome to Troopy Talk. In this series of videos, we'll be interviewing Troopy owners about their vehicles, mods and setups. We'll also do the occasional gear review and chat with Troopy experts for handy tips and tricks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we are at uh, Guest 4 Wheel Drive and uh, we've got Dave Guest here. Thanks very much for having a chat with us. Pleasure, Peter. So, um, tell us a bit about your shop here. Mm. How long have you been around and yeah. what's your backstory? Yeah. Uh, so I guess four-wheel drive started back in 1961, a very long time ago. In yeah. fact, the year I was born, my father started the business. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and back in the day, we sort of started off as a workshop repairing mainly cars. But uh, Dad, when we were kids, we used to go hunting rabbits and we had an old FJ40. Uh, and we used to do a lot of hunting in that and, uh, and tripping around. Uh, then, as we progressed further on in the uh, late 70s, we started running four-wheel drive tours up into the outback area, starting in the Simpson Desert. Oh, wow. And that sort of made us really expand into the four-wheel drive business around that time, where yep. we used to work on some motor vehicles, just normal cars. Uh, we then became four-wheel drive specialists over those years. Uh, running, running trips across the Simpson, we started off with FJ55s back wow. in the day. Uh, then as we got in the 80s, the Troopies came out and we started um, using those for the, the tour vehicles and, uh, and then progressed into 100 series land cruisers and, uh, and that sort of occurred for about 25 years and during that 25 years it just became a full-on four-wheel drive business and, and we specialise in the Japanese stuff only. We mm -hmm. sort of say, look, Toyota, yep. Nissan, Mitsubishi, uh, a bit of Ford Ranger and Mazda still we work on but 90% of what we work on these days is the Toyota product. Yeah, great. Mm. So you've had a few Troopies? Indeed, yeah, a lot of Troopies. I, I remember back in the day, we actually had six Troopies at one stage there. Oh, wow. The old uh, 75 series, and we were running them out on three different tours. So mm -hmm. we had one going that direction, that direction, and uh, so whether it was the Kimberleys, the Simpson, and, uh, you know, Cape Yorks or something like that. So, uh, so quite a few Troopies over the years, and that... I remember at one stage I actually added up the kilometres we'd done in the in the vehicles that we ran in this tour business. So we used to do about fifty or sixty thousand Ks per year wow. in each vehicle. So multiply that by six vehicles, multiply that by twenty five years, it was millions Jeez. of kilometres. So yeah. and that's where our experience came from those kilometres. You know, we found out what was a good suspension, what was a good tire, uh, what good accessories were, you know, dual batteries, things like that. Yeah. Our dual batteries, I remember, if we had a battery lasted six months back then, we were so happy it lasted oh, a wow. season for us, you know. Okay. So, yeah, so quality components, we learnt, you know, you had to run those, those bits and pieces. Without those, things would let you down, break down, middle of nowhere, not a very good uh, thing when you're out running four-wheel drive tours. Yeah, mm. fantastic. Yeah. So, getting back to today, so what yep. are the main kind of upgrades that you guys are doing to the Toyota, yeah. mainly Toyotas? Yeah, indeed, yep. yeah. So, look, it's, it's quite amazing at, uh, you know, where, uh, you know, we used to have people come in and, and do a standard dual battery, as you know, in your Troopy, where we did the twin lithium set up yep. in it. Uh, you know, probably only two years ago, Lithiums are like, wow, you know, geez, lithium, what is this? And uh, and now probably, you know, four out of five vehicles we do are twin lithium batteries in them, yep. setting them up, running them. Now, you know, N-Link uh, from a uh, bull bar and a winch to, uh, you know, it's regular, we're doing 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollar fit outs on four wheel drive. Okay. So, uh, so, so a lot so, of suspension stuff there, obviously. Yeah, a lot of these days, obviously, GVM has become very important for a lot of people. And yep. uh, so a lot of GVM stuff we're doing. Um, mainly for the Toyota product, once again, the 200 series, just, you know, as you saw out in the shop there before, we've got new Land Cruisers sitting out there everywhere. Yep. All of them are waiting for GVM uh, upgrades, so uh, we do that with a range of shockers. Uh, um, certainly the Old Man Emu product, we do quite a bit of that, still on the 70 series troop carriers with the GVM upgrade. Uh, but the 200 series, we do a lot of that with the, um, the Old Man Emu, as well as the Coney and uh, King shocks, mm -hmm. which is very popular. Yep. If only we could get some, that'd be even better. Okay. And uh, they're pretty hard to get. And also the Bilstein B60 uh, shock absorbers as well. So, so a lot of suspension, you know, fit outs. And, and we still say the core of our business is literally servicing four wheel drives. We still say that's part yep. of it. Uh, you know, just doing pre-trip service, routine service. Yep. And um, that's, that's still, but the fit out work has become a pretty big part of the business these yeah, days cool. as well. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Mm. So obviously we're going away on a 
pretty decent trip yep. next week. Indeed. Um, and we've just brought our trip in for yeah. a pre-trip inspection. Yep. What are you going to do to it? Yep. So certainly, uh, and I guess we, we always say, you know, uh, a pre-trip, really, we do that any time we service any four-wheel drive. Our theory is if you want to jump in that four-wheel drive the next day and be travelling to Broome or Kimberley's, Cape York, wherever it might be, we'll let you know if there's any reason why you wouldn't be able to do that. So, so certainly, uh, uh, as we've discussed, we're going to do the wheel bearings on yours, which, yep. once again, if you're doing a lot of outback corrugator roads, we always say, listen, when were they done? Uh, as well as, you know, the fuel filters, engine oil, all that, full check end-to-end, -end, gear oils, brakes, steering, suspension, belts, hoses, cooling system, yep. uh, all those things, you know, we, we understand what you need to get to go and do these trips and come back without any dramas. Yep. Uh, and, and certainly, uh, but we say that you come back from that trip and, and maybe the wheel bearings are due as a routine servicing. You might go, they're due now, but you're not going away for another 10 or 20,000 k's. Well, look, not a big deal. Let's leave that and wait until you do that trip rather than yeah. driving around the blacktop. But obviously, they don't get the stress that they get on the outback corrugator roads. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah cool. Mm. Excellent. So you've got a pretty good-looking shop here as well. Yeah, indeed. Um, selling a lot of products. Yep. Um, what, what's selling really well these days? Yeah, look, certainly I'm standing here in front of the uh, Method wheels. It's, uh, it's amazing. Once again, these are quite an expensive wheel. Yep. Uh, but uh, once again, the, the customer base these days, it, the money's probably not as, <laughs> not as much of an issue as it maybe yep. once was, where yep. people would have looked and set a $600 alloy wheel for their four-wheel drive. There's no way they would have done it. And, and same with things like the King suspension these days we do. Like, you know, once again, a suspension kit back in the old days was, you know, two or three thousand mm. dollars. These now are up close to eleven thousand dollars for a two hundred series. But we have people coming in hand over fist saying, "I've got to have that." And uh, yep. so we always have the products we have in our showroom. Uh, everything normally is a quality product. We we say to people, "Look, people that want cheap, low quality stuff, it's it's not our go, and we're not interested in it." And we know, you know, last thing we want is put something in. Someone's car, they go away on a trip, it lets them down. Guess what? It doesn't make us look very good. And, uh, yeah. and we prefer not to fit it and not do the job than even attempt to fit it. So, uh, yeah, cool. so everything we do, quality components. I mean, once again, it's, uh, uh, we've got the National Lunar fridges, Engel fridges, a range of tyres we do. Uh, generally, uh, it's unusual that we haven't got a tyre that will do anything anyone wants to do in Australia or in four-wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, you know, winches, uh, you know, lights, the uh, Safari products, of course, the Armax CCUs, the yep. snorkels. And you guys uh, do, those up, do those upgrades yeah, as well? Yeah, indeed. We do all that in-house here. And, yep. uh, and yeah, plenty of other products in here as well. But, uh, yeah, but as I say, everything we do is certainly at the top end of the range as far as quality goes. And we're not necessarily expensive. You know, we always look at things, we look, sometimes we go, hang on, this is ridiculously priced, and then we look at alternatives. Yep. Uh, but a lot of the stuff we do is genuine products or, you know, things like, I think we discussed terrain tamer products mm. as well, We've got a very good range yep. of quality gear as well. So, Great. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so Dave, we're in your workshop now. Mm, indeed. Uh, apart from brand new 200 series yeah, and yeah. troopies, yep. you also do some restos. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. yeah so, so what have we got here? Uh, this is a customer's old 60 series Land Cruiser, which uh, it's been in the family, I think, for a very long time, and he's yeah. got an emotional attachment to it. Sure. Uh, and uh, I think we've had a very noisy gearbox transfer for quite some time, and, uh, and the customer has decided he's going to go uh, and bite the bullet and sort of spend the money. So yeah. one thing I did say to him, he needs to make sure the body is rebuildable, which has got a bit of rust in it, which he's gone and done that already. Yeah. Uh, and we're actually just removing the engine gearbox transfer and we're, uh, we're doing a full rebuild on all those things. Uh, and so we'll have it here for about three weeks uh, and get all that done. Then yep. he's going to take it to the body works, spend some more money there and uh, uh, off it goes. So back for another uh, 30 or 40 years, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so you'll uh, end up with a brand new 60 series. Absolutely, yeah. yeah so once again, it's, it's quite amazing. One thing we're finding, we're getting a lot of people with these older Land Cruisers happy to spend you know, considerable money to get them back up to where they were back in the original days and yep. uh, you know the older four-wheel drives have come back into vogue a bit and uh, yep. we're doing a lot of 40 series and the 60s and uh, uh, yeah so it's uh, there's certainly a lot of cool cool factor about them aren't there absolutely yeah. yeah well once again they probably don't quite drive like your 200 series sure. but uh, but yeah you think you know you're driving it that's yeah, for sure yeah mm. oh, that's excellent yeah fantastic all right, Dave, so uh, got a troopy in front of us. Yep. So what's going on with this troopy? What have you done for it? Yeah, sure. So this one, uh, we actually, we've been doing this in a couple of stages. So uh, uh, originally it was uh, bull bar, lights, uh, catch can, dual battery, snorkel, suspension. 
uh, things like the, the new generation Clearview mirrors, roof rack as you can see up there as well. Uh, and we're currently just fitting an RV storage system uh, okay. in here as well. Which, once again, we use their uh, storage system. They're a fantastic quality product. And yep. every time you put them in, you look at it and just go, wow, it looks like Toyota might have put these okay. in. Uh, they're, they're such a good fit and the quality is uh, superb. Yeah, great. Uh, at the same time, we're doing something similar that we did in your Troopy. We're doing a Manager 30 kit with a yep. Red Vision screen so yep. you can see all the ins and outs. Uh, as well as your friend's uh, electrical uh, box uh, as well. Oh, the so, Egon. Yeah, Egon yeah, as Andrew well. Andrew yeah, so. White's uh, Egon yeah, distribution, distribution box, box, I call it. Yeah. yeah, so once again, we run big heavy-duty power into that, and from there, we can run power out to everything from that. So, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice rig. Uh, they're getting... You don't see a lot of the brand new Troopies uh, these days. They're pretty hard to come by from Toyota, but... Uh, uh, there's yeah, like a seven-month wait at the moment. Yeah, is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, Yes, that's uh, one we're doing in here at the moment as well as yours over there as well. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Hey Dave, thank you very much for all your time today A and uh, showing us around and showing us what you guys do in this uh, fantastic shop. No worries at all. Uh, looking forward to picking up the Troopy in a few days' time. Indeed. Good on you, Pete. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. So, if you want your new Land Cruiser fully kitted out with suspension, electrical and all the mods, or a full mechanical resto on an old family favourite, or really anything in between, Dave and his team have been in the industry long enough to give you all the advice you need and the workmanship and service that I've experienced has been excellent. Plus, they're bloody nice guys. Check them out. Till next time, cheers.